Hi, in this video, we will learn about implementation of GST. The GST has very peculiar features that is implemented in India and it will be suitable for all governments, industry and consumers. GST is proposed to be levied from the stage of manufacture to the stage of consumption. The GST levied in one stage can be set off against GST in another stage. That is, input tax credit is available for any taxable person for the goods or services he purchased for his business. The GST is applicable on each stage for the value addition. That is, on a B2B transaction, the GST can be claimed by the buyer as input tax credit and the final levy, final tax will have to be paid by the consumer only. So, in the case of B2B transactions, the government is only a custodian of the tax. So, when a buyer claims input tax credit, the government has to allow such input tax credit available to the tax person and at the stage of B2C that is business to consumer the consumer has to pay GST but that is the income for the government as the consumer cannot claim input tax credit. So as per GST system the burden of tax will be on the consumer and not on the business. GST is a destination based consumption tax. That is, the revenue, the GST will be accruing to the tax authority where the consumers is situated. That is, the tax authority where the place of supply is situated or the place where the consumer is situated or where the consumption is taking place, that tax authority will be getting the GST, that is revenue from the GST system. In India, a dual GST will be implemented. As India is a federal country, both state governments as well as central government will have the authority to collect tax from the business or consumers. So, in such a system, the central government and state government can collect tax as per the GST system. So, as per the dual GST system, there are three components for goods and services tax. That is CGST, SGST and IGST. CGST, the portion of goods and services tax will be going to the central government. SGST, that is state goods and services tax will go to the state government. And in the case of intrastate supply, these two components will be there. That is, if the supply is within the state, that is intrastate supply, CGST and SGST will be there. In the case of interstate supply of goods and services, a separate tax component, that is IGST, Integrated Goods and Services Tax will be levied. So that will go to the center and the center can distribute among the states also. All these three components, that is CGST, SGST and IGST will be levied as per the rates specified in the respective schedules. The IGST collected will be distributed among the central government and state government as per the recommendation of the GST council. Regarding the administration of GST, both CGST and IGST will be administered by the central government and SGST will be administered by the state government. The rates of SGST and CGST will be decided on the recommendation of central government and state governments and by a notification by the GST council. Both central GST and SGST, state GST will be levied by the governments on such goods and services as decided by the GST council. There are some exempted goods or services. That is, whether they are outside the purview of GST, 
or specifically exempted from GST or if the goods or services provided is below the threshold limits. Let us take one example. A dealer in Mumbai supplies steel bars to a person in Nagpur. In such a case, he can charge GST which have two components SGST and CGST both at 14 percent. So total rate will be 28 percent on sale. So the tax collected that is if the supply value is 10,000 rupees 28 percent tax is charged. So 1400 and 1400, 1400 will go to SGST that should be paid to the state government and another 1400 that is 14 percent CGST will go to the central government. Actually, he need not pay such tax directly to the government because on a B2B transaction, he can claim input tax credit on any goods or services purchased by him. One important thing is, if he purchased any goods or services and paid CGST, such CGST input tax credit can be set off against only CGST liability. And any SGST paid on any input goods or services can be set off against only SGST liability. That is, the CGST credit cannot be set off against SGST liability and SGST input tax credit cannot be set off against CGST liability. Let us take another example. One advertisement company which is providing advertisements to a another manufacturing company has charged a bill of 10,000 rupees. In that case, as in the earlier example, he has to charge 14 percent or whatever the rate is notified by the GST council. Suppose the rate is 14 percent for SGST and 14 percent for CGST. So total GST rate will be 28 percent. So on this 10,000 he has to charge 28 percent that is 2800 and he can set off this tax liability with his input goods or services purchased by him. It may include stationery, office equipment, any remuneration paid to artist etc for making this advertisement. So, so all such tax paid for such input goods or services can be deducted from his total tax liability. Only thing you have to remember is when there is an interstate supply or supply of goods or services like we saw in the, in the example, any tax paid on any input goods or services can be set off against tax liability. One important point you have to remember is one can avail input tax credit with setting off with his GST liability. Suppose in this case the advertisement company has purchased stationery, office equipment and uh, remuneration to artist. In such cases he would have paid tax to such persons, to such suppliers. So any tax paid to such suppliers at the time of buying input goods or services can be set off against the GST liability. One important thing you have to remember is CGST credit cannot be set off against SGST liability and SGST credit cannot be set off against CGST liability. Hope you have understood features of GST that is it is a destination based tax and in India we are implementing dual GST and points about SGST, CGST and IGST and you got also clear with some examples. Thank you.